considered how medical professionals manage a patient with multiple trauma injuries? How does the process work from start to finish? And what are the key considerations? Imagine a day in the life of a trauma surgeon. A patient is rushed into the emergency room following a severe car accident. This patient, let's call him John, has multiple injuries, a head injury, fractured ribs, and a ruptured spleen. The first step in managing John's case is the primary survey, a quick and systematic approach that identifies immediate threats to life. This involves assessing the airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure, also fondly known as the ABCDEs. The airway assessment ensures John can breathe, while the breathing assessment checks for any respiratory distress. The circulation assessment evaluates the status of John's blood flow, and the disability assessment checks for any neurological deficits. Lastly, exposure involves removing John's clothes to identify any other potential injuries. Following the primary survey, the secondary survey is conducted. This is a more detailed examination where head-to-toe assessments are made. In John's case, this is where the fractured ribs and ruptured spleen are identified. John is then rushed to surgery where his spleen is removed and his ribs are stabilized. Post-surgery, John is closely monitored in the intensive care unit for any complications and to manage his pain. Rehabilitation begins once John is stable. The multidisciplinary team, including physical therapists, occupational therapists, and psychologists, work together to help John regain his strength and cope with the trauma he's been through. In summary, managing a patient with multiple trauma involves a systematic approach, starting with the primary and secondary surveys to identify life-threatening conditions. Surgery is performed to address these conditions, followed by close monitoring and rehabilitation. This process is not only a testament to the skills and expertise of medical professionals, but also a reminder of the resilience of the human body and spirit. The road to recovery may be long and challenging, but with the right care and support, patients like John can regain their health and return to their daily lives.